In this video, we're going to look at a simple rod. There are two tasks. First is to find the stress in the rod. The second is to find its stiffness. For the geometry of the rod, we know the area and the length. In addition to the geometry, we also need to know the rod material. A particular property we need to know is the Young's modulus. Young's modulus is the relationship between the stress and the strain for the material. The slope of this graph is the Young's modulus, the material stiffness. Steel has a steeper slope than aluminium because it is a stiffer material. Way back, Robert Hooke discovered the relationship between stress and strain. Apparently, this is the only known picture of him. The sketch shows the type of apparatus he was setting up. Meantime, back to our rod, we are applying P and defining the displacements U1 and U2. The stress is defined as the force divided by the area. It's constant across the cross-section of the rod. We can picture the stress as a constant flow through the section. That's our first task complete. The stress is simply force divided by area. For the second task, we begin by looking at the strain. Now engineering strain is the change in length divided by the original length. The change in length is U2 minus U1. But in our case, the left-hand side is built in. The strain is just U2 at the free end, divided by the length L. We need to, the Young's modulus definition. Remember, it's just the relationship between stress and strain. And now we just substitute in the terms for stress and strain, and we get this equation. Using this, we can solve for the unknown deflection U2. Now that's useful, but it isn't quite what we were asked for. We rewrite that equation to give a load versus deflection relationship. It's that relationship that interests us because that defines the actual stiffness of the rod. When load equals something times deflection, that something is the component stiffness. You can imagine an equivalent spring stiffness of the rod as sketched up here. Now we can identify the expression of the stiffness, K equals AE over L. And a quick sketch here just shows that the rod stiffness is a force versus deflection relationship. So that's task two complete now. Now, none of our videos would be complete without some kind of spot quiz. So the first question is, who's this guy? Anybody know this man? If you forgot, rewind and you'll be able to check him out. Actually, try Googling him. He's an interesting guy. Next question is, does this equation make sense? Go through each term thinking of a bolt. Uh, steel is stiffer than aluminium, but what about a long versus a short bolt? Finally, I mentioned in passing during the video that this strain definition is called a particular type of strain. Again, if you don't remember, rewind and have a look. In the next video, we put some numbers into the rod equation. We also explore a really bizarre way to find stress, and we finish up taking a first look at a matrix stiffness definition. So, we'll see you on the next video.